Hey friends, Patrick here and quick one today. There is something in Blazor, I think, where you really have to be careful about or pay attention there. And these are loops in the end. It doesn't really matter what kind of loop it is, but as you can see here in this application, I know this is uh, lots of code here. This is actually uh, one of the challenges of the .NET Web Academy where we built a tic-tac-toe game with Blazor and .NET 8 and with SignalR. So there's a lot going on, but I want you to focus on this loop here, this for loop where you see regarding the board, let's just have a quick look here. You see it here, a game is running, signal R, this means two clients are connected to this room. You see it here, we got rooms, one room, isn't that great? And now I want to make my move and for instance, click on this cell. But before I click there, let's again have a quick look uh, at the code here. So the for loop here, what this thing does is it is, uh, well, building or rendering our table, right? The board again, this is a table here with these nine fields. And we have the uh, columns and the rows as coordinates for our fields. So each cell has, well, one uh, value for the row and for the column. And in the end, then when the user clicks on one of these columns, we want to call this function here, make move, and of course use the coordinates to set our uh, player symbol there. So it's a game of tic-tac-toe, so it's an X or an O. Now what I changed here or added here is that I wanna write the actual coordinates here in the console. So now let me go back to Chrome, there we are. It doesn't really matter where I click, you will see the same result. So for instance, this here should actually be the field zero, zero, right? Well, it says row is three and the column is also three. What about this field? Same thing. Anywhere I click, doesn't really matter, same result. Now, why is that? We go back here to the code and to our for loop. And what you can see here in this loop, we are incrementing the row value and the column value. Everything's nice. Now the problem here is that in this cell, in the onClick event, we use this lambda expression here. And lambda expressions capture variables by their reference, meaning we, or this expression here knows, all right, this is the row, this is the column, and it is incremented. So the value is zero, one, two, three. But by the time, when this event, this onClick event is triggered, so you as the user click on the actual cell, the values are already three for each of them, right? So the loop is done, the lambda expression then says, okay, I have the variable, again, captured by reference and not by their actual value in this loop here. So this is why the result is three all the time. Now the solution for that is that you just create a local copy inside the loop. And then whenever we uh, are here in this inner loop of these two, four loops, the lambda expression will again capture the variable, but it is every single time a new local copy of the current value, and this is why it will work then. So let's do that real, real quick. So here, for instance, we have uh, R for the row, and then C for the column, and then here we just use these two, almost, there, there, and there, so now as you can see, we uh, just grabbed the uh, current value of the row and the column, created a local copy, a new instance of that value here, and then the lambda expression will use this local copy. So when we restart this beautiful game here, and there it is, and there it is as well, we create a room real quick, start the game, pay attention. Here now this should be zero, zero, and it is. So now I can set my X, then here the O and then I can do that here as well. And this time it's one and O. And again, here this works. And of course I can also say uh, that the winner now is X, start a new game and so on. So this just a really quick hint, pay attention when you are using loops in Blazor with uh, together with Lambda expressions. 
if something doesn't really work as expected, might be the case that the current value or the uh, variable with the current value is actually captured by reference. So create a local copy and then this might work in your case. All right, that's it for today. I hope you learned something. If so, like button, please subscribe. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much to all my patrons and thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Take care.